this video we talk about the basic usage of Swiss PDB viewer. So let's first start Swiss PDB viewer or deep view. Now the new version of a uh, deep view 4.1.0 is start by directly uh, go to the open file window. So in this case, you make sure you go to the where your uh, PDB file is. And in my case, I it's go to a downloads. Uh, PDB, that's the one igd.pdb file uh, downloaded. So I then click open. Yep. Yes, it has started. That's the log window. Usually, uh, 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 usually we don't need it. Uh, I often just close it. And then that's a main window. That's uh, uh, where your file protein structure is. And that's the basic uh, uh, toolbars. And this hand it means uh, move uh, horizontal move. So you can move uh, in the 2D uh, uh, version. And then there's this uh, uh, look like a tool window. It's actually zoom. So you can zoom in, zoom out. And then this is a circular, circular that's a rotation. It's a very useful. So the combination of these uh, three buttons is uh, it provides you most uh, basic uh, 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 ways to work around the protein molecule to view them. Now, <coughs> we we can now try to do some uh, simple uh, manipulation of protein structure to make it. Uh, views uh, much nicely. Uh, so one way is to use the color function. That's on the menu. So color and then let's try well there are various ways to color it. So let's try by uh, coloring by a uh, secondary structure. There. Uh, in this case by default the red is alpha helix and uh, Yellow is beta sheet. In fact, uh, you, if you if you turn uh, and look at the tonal structure, uh, and so you can look at the alpha helix from top down. You can see a, a, a empty space. That indeed is a, a helix. It's a tube. Uh, yeah. So. Oops. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, we can also choose display and render in solid 3D. That makes it look a, a little nicer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can still see the alpha helix is circling here. So, a very useful feature of the Swiss PDB view is the control panel, which is in window menu. Uh, in Mac, it's basically shortened as a WIND. So we'll click a window menu, and then you see control panel. There we see the control panel. And it shows the uh, PDB file ID here, one IGD. And so to work around control panel, you will see the group, which is the residue group, chemical group here. And then uh, it all starts with A. If you scroll down, you will see some other options like, uh, oh, maybe not for this molecule. Sometimes you will see other options. A is for amino acid residues. And next to A, uh, you see S. That's actually the secondary structure for strand, a beta sheet basically. Strand, so that's yellow. Now, yellow is actually shows also corresponded to the picture you are seeing uh, on the left. Strand, strand, and then you see edge. Edge is for helices, so that's red. And so how many, uh, here's actually a self-exercise. Uh, how many alpha helix and beta sheet are in this molecule? So. You can basically look at the, the control panel and count how many of them. So in this case, uh, there will be just one helix. And 
seem to have four beta sheets. Yeah. So why do I know that? Also because uh, I know this is a full length molecule. So here, if you look at a three letter amino acid, uh, next to them there are numbers. That's one, two, three, four, five. That's basically the position of the residue. And then next to them there are choices for show. Uh, that's basically show whether this uh, backbone will be shown or not. If I click, you see, you see on this side, that must be number one, number two, number three. Okay. So the side chain basically decides whether the uh, besides peptide back backbone whether we want to show the side chain. If I unclick those, they are not showing. So. There, you see the structure here is become only the backbone are remaining. In fact, we can uh, pull it a little bit. Yeah, so that's the first position, first uh, few positions. And if we put it back, you can see the difference. Now the side chain goes back. Yeah, now it goes back. In fact, we can see with the tyrosine. You can tyrosine is here. And tyrosine has a, a ring structure, and that's one of the tyrosines. And how do I know, how do I make sure that is? You can also click on the label. There, yeah, tyrosine A, it is there. It is tyrosine. And the V is for the volume uh, to show the, the electron cl cloud around the structure. And we can also show the ribbon structure. Ribbon structure there. So when once you show the ribbon, you may want to uh, unclick uh, the the other uh, the wire structure, so you can see actually the ribbon. Yeah. So that's a ribbon. So uh, in fact, if we click all this, you can you probably can see the direction of the ribbon. The strand here. Yeah. So this is. Uh, uh, go that uh, uh, this uh, beta strand goes this direction. Uh, it's actually much easier to uh, use a select menu to do this. So we can say select uh, none and then click the show nothing then just uh, no side chain and no backbone. And then we say select all and then click the ribbon. There, they are all in. So this will be a ribbon structure of this molecule. It, you can actually now clearly see there's an upper helix and four beta sheet. Uh, Sometimes it's not always easier to see it directly because sometimes the upper helix and beta sheet are so short, uh, it doesn't. You, you visually doesn't see it very well, and then it can uh, agree how many alpha helix, how many beta sheet that become a gray uh, area. The answer is called ambiguous. So we can now say, what if I only want to see the beta sheet? So I can say select secondary structure strain. It's also a beta sheet, and then I click the ribbon again. There. Yeah. So now only the beta sheet are showing. The beta sheet are showing here. And then, uh, but this time I want to uh, show the hydrogen bond between beta sheets. So I need to show the the side chains. So I'm going to click the side chains here. And I'm going to say color by CPK. Uh, so what is CPK? Uh, in CPK color scheme, the blue atoms are uh, nitrogen atoms. The red ones are oxygens, and in this case, the white ones are carbon. And then uh, I go go to uh, tools, 
to compute hydrogen bond. Yeah, uh, and so now we can see the hydrogen bond uh, between the beta sheets. So beta sheets are held together by the between strand hydrogen bond. Um, if it is. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what to if we want to see more clearly, we can say select none and remove all the ribbons. So now you can uh, see whether the hydrogen bond is indeed between uh, how how they are connected. Uh, one thing is that the hydrogen item itself actually are not shown in the structure. So only a carbon, nitrogen. Oxygen not shown, but the actual hydrogen is not shown. So, so it, although it's called hydrogen bond, there should be a hydrogen there, but the way it's just not shown by the Swiss PDB uh, viewer. So, now once, what if you want to save this for your lab report or say a, a research project you want to you are working on? So, oh by the way, uh, how do we know? This the hydrogen bond is between the backbone or the side chain. We can uh, remove all the side chain. I only see the backbone. So it's, here you clearly see the uh, hydrogen bond between the beta sheet are really on the backbone, peptide backbones. So we have the red oxygen here and the blue nitrogen, and that's from a hydrogen bond. And there, and it's oxygen here, nitrogen there. Then it goes away. Yeah. So that's like it. So let's say we want to save this as a picture, and we go to a file menu, save image. That's how you save image. And this I'm going to just call that a uh, uh, sheet. Dot jpeg. And I s then I go to the folder where I save it. This is uh, yeah, it's now saved as a, a picture. So you can put this into a Word document or, or a PowerPoint as for presentation. Uh, but what if I want to save this uh, working file? So next time when I use a Swiss PDB viewer, I can still come to this uh, data sheet backbone with hydrogen bond there. This is something called a save lay uh, layer. So let's save the current layer. So we are going to call this a sheets dot pdb. Uh, but this, yeah, let's save this, and then we quit uh, close the current one. Close. Now I'm going to open this uh, file. Open with. Oops. Uh, Open with uh, Swiss PDB view again. See now, oh, the hydrogen bond is not there, but the uh, the pa the beta uh, beta strand uh, backbone is still there. So I can so the basic structure there uh, and the orientation there, I can still compute hydrogen bond. Say so there. So that's how you can save your work. So now I'm going to ask you to do uh, uh, exercise on your own to show only alpha helix, but this time uh, uh, without the beta sheet, but also show the hydrogen bond and then save that as a picture, put it into your uh, lab report. Okay, have fun.